welcome back to my channel today it is a thursday it is the 27th of january we are nearly out of this month honestly this month feels as if it has dragged immensely like who else agrees with me here like in january it's just been the sheerest the longest month ever also this morning i woke up with a beautiful spot i've been doing my skincare religiously for like a week and a half now probably even two weeks and because it is the day of wearing no face masks in the shops obviously i want to take full advantage and have to wear a mask because i actually hate wearing them it just tells you to appear but anyway yeah so the reason that i haven't actually started vlogging like the monday tuesday is because i wasn't actually going to be vlogging but it's not going to be like a weekly vlog Obviously, I'm vlogging half of the week, but I'm probably just going to vlog a few days because it is Scott's birthday weekend, but I think I'm going to be doing like a separate birthday vlog for his birthday. So I'm just trying to get as much content done as I can. Also, I've just uploaded and, well, edited and uploaded a DHK haul. So it's actually up on my channel. I've uploaded it a bit earlier because like I googled it was the best time to upload a YouTube video on a Thursday and it said like between... 12 and 3 so i uploaded it at half one it's doing quite well to be honest but anyway the parcel has arrived for me downstairs so i'm gonna hopefully open it up here it's something beauty related but i'm sure it'll be interesting to kind of see you know, what i get so that's what i'm gonna do but yeah i've got you know, my essentials holding on from tk Maxx and in my green sour leggings because honestly comfort is actually key like i literally feel so comfortable right now yeah i'm just embracing the no makeup again because you know what like i can't bother putting it on i did have a full face makeup on yesterday that's probably why i, I do have like a spot on my face but yes i'm now going to go out and see the parcel and see what it's about right <laughs> the parcel has arrived and i'm not even joking it is actually taller than me so i'm just gonna show you it isn't too heavy to be honest obviously i'm gonna be cut off but literally you want to see this right now yeah and i am five foot the one for reference so i know that i am short anyway but yeah basically a parcel has arrived basically in the salon where i work i am going to be offering uh, massages so i need a little screen because i don't actually have like a door in my room so we all just one off ebay and i think it was only around 30 pounds I, I could be wrong i'll try and link it in the description for you all but basically i was having a look at like uh, beauty screens and uh, some of them were really expensive and then a lot of the reviews were really bad because they said how they were really flimsy but i managed to find this on ebay and amazon they're from the same seller but like it actually turned out to be cheaper by um ebay so that's why i got it from ebay because you have to pay like seven pounds shipping as well which i suppose it's probably like a good thing because like at least you know it's gonna arrive and it's not gonna take ages so I hope I can get it open. I have to take it down to the salon tomorrow. But by the way, I've got a very busy day. Like, I, I, I'm fully booked tomorrow and on Saturday for uh, appointments. The first ever time I've actually been fully booked for somewhere. I finally managed to open the box, guys, right? So, the, basically what I've ordered is a rattan, uh, like, screen for my room. Yeah, that's the colour. It was a choice of this colour, a light brown, a dark brown, or a black. You've got to see this colour will go nicely with my room. Oh my god, it's actually so big, I can't. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. It's huge. But yeah, I've got this, and I'm actually really happy about it because it's kind of more confidential and private. So I'm going to prop it up and see how, how sturdy it is because if it is a week i'm obviously not going to keep it because i need it to be able to stand up and not fall over so yeah i'm going to do that but so far it looks good they've actually had these in college hence why i ordered this style because they were really good in college anyway so yeah <laughs> they wish me luck trying to get it 
out, out the packaging because I think I'm going to struggle. I definitely need my dad who is six foot two to help me right now but unfortunately he's at work so yeah but anyway I will catch you up. I've got a three panel one so it won't be really long but it'll be big enough. <laughs> upside down oh my god I, i've got it upside down right it's meant to be the other way around well that was a, a little practice run <laughs> and, and now i know which way to put it oh god right yeah, let's try it again and hopefully it'll be fine it's easy as that <laughs> peekaboo so yes this is the screen guys i've I definitely think it's a good size. It's quite sturdy. It's obviously good for what I need it for. So yeah, so that's a success. <laughs> At least I know not to put it upside down next time, but this is what it looks like from top to bottom. That's the top. Go down. That's the bottom. In my room's the best because I'm actually in the middle of actually cleaning my room. Um, so I'm going to be hoovering dust. I'm going to be hoovering... I got, I'm going to be hoovering and dusting my room because that's what I do every Thursday just because it does get it really dusty in here because I do live like on a busy road so all the dust from cars and like the outside does get into the house and yeah it is a bit grimy so yeah but anyway I'm actually chuffed a bit with the screen like it's made my, it's made my day actually so yeah I'm gonna have to take this down tomorrow along with all my makeup kits that's gonna be a task and a half but we'll do it, you know, we'll do it, it's fine. <laughs> that's like my average <laughs> to be honest but yeah i'm having this i've cleaned my room it feels it, it feels so much better to just be able to hoover than just your room and like your carpets don't have anything on them you know i'm also well speaking of chocolate beforehand the mum always goes to m and not to do our weekly food chat by the way i mean i wish we could because m and food is another level of a tastiness. It's usually she gets like a few bits and bobs from um M and S and she always gets these things like the like the little chocolate like boxes or barrels, whatever you call them. There's all sorts of different ones, but if you guys have never tried the chocolate brownie, insane. I mean the chocolate in mini bites are it just as nice, but they usually get you know, the flapjack bites. I'm not keen on flapjack but I'm plus it's healthier. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm trying to I'm trying to divide what I eat by having a banana and have some chocolate to reward myself after it. Which is my life pretty much. I mean I do like eating fruit. I don't have a lot of it. I should probably have more to be honest, but you know it's fine. Also, tomorrow I'm gonna be packing for Scott's birthday because I'm gonna have to bring two whole dolls to his house because basically the plan is I'm I'm sleeping over at his from Saturday to Sunday and then Sunday to Monday because they were actually going out for a meal for his birthday on Sunday. And because I'm taking away to the spa on the Monday, 
if that makes sense. Like, I've obviously got to pack for the hotel as well. So good job, I do have two whole dolls to kind of pack stuff in with, you know. But, yeah, so I'll have a lot of packing to do tomorrow. Also, these are my eyes. They look bigger than the other, like, this one looks bigger than that one. I don't know, I've only just noticed that. Yeah, I have really just noticed that, actually, that's weird. Right, so, you basically, you, you, the other day, you, the brand called the COE Bags actually gifted me a Chanel bag. I've taken it out of the box, but uh, first of all, the Chanel boxes, whether they are the real or fake, I just pure class like they are so classy i love them so much and it's such like, a lovely smooth box but anyway and they gifted me the chanel 19 bag right i absolutely love any chanel bag pretty much if it has the chanel logo on it i will be absolutely over the moon with it you know but yeah so basically here it is it's you know, the perfect stony color it's kind of got that like effect to it and like it's it's already aged already and i absolutely love it when your leather bags age because it's it makes them look more timeless so yes i've had this for like a few days and it's got this handle here oh it's also got this one and the real one is exactly like this it's got the different colored chain which i find really cool it's actually made in 2019 hence the name chanel 19 but yes you can use my discount code alice h to save 15 percent off i will link their website in the description but yeah it's actually so beautiful i'm obsessed with chanel handbags and if i was ever to have my own walking wardrobe in the future you will definitely see me with a whole range of chanel handbags you know like I'll be that a girl in the future who just collects handbags for a living. Like, yeah, in 20 years' time, I might have my own channel somewhere on YouTube with a handbag reviewer. <laughs> it would be a dream of mine, though. I, I'm actually I'm actually very serious about this, guys. I would actually love to be a handbag reviewer. I can suck the beauty off, you know. I'll just review handbags all the time. I mean, if anybody wants to send me a handbag and review it, like... Feel free, because I'm obsessed with Chanel. But yeah, it's actually so beautiful. And yeah, because I've been getting to like my stony, browny, nudie colours, this, it just fits right in yeah, with my theme, 110%. I'm probably going to get so much hate for this, but when I have the muffins, I put them in the toaster, but only to heat them up, if that makes sense. So I don't actually toast them. And this butter is the best, like... It, it, nobody can say it otherwise. Yep, yeah, please don't hate me. I'm I'm trying to do this one handed as well, by the way, but you know, like I'm just trying my best, okay? Like, yeah, and I'm not you know, the biggest fan of like toast and stuff, hence why I never really like having like a toast. And that's why I never like you know, properly toast my muffins. Like because I prefer yeah, the bready taste over you know, the kind of toast taste. If yeah, that makes any sense. If anybody is the same as me, please let me know. Because, like, the Scottish family always they judge me for you know, not toasting things properly. And so does my family as well. But, yeah. And we always have a debate about you know, this butter and you know, their pack. So, comment down below you know, what your favourite type of... The bread for your days and butter and stuff. <laughs> it will start a debate and see the who who likes this. Because honestly, look at that butter on there. That's like banging. Now next morning and I'm going to be setting off for work in 15 minutes. I'm just walking because I'm at the salon today. I've been organising all of my makeup and like all my stuff to take down. So I'm fully booked. So I am going to be having a really busy day today. But I wanted to make myself... A bit more glam because I feel it's the very time I've been in the salon lately. I feel very not glam or like or made up. And obviously, you know, my job is a beautician, makeup artist, all that kind of jazz. So, yeah, I've curled my hair, but because it was slightly damp, it has gone a bit weird. But oh well, it's fine. Like, 
I'm not here to impress anybody, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna be going to work. I'll take you along with me, of course, if you remember to vlog. I'll be working from half nine until around four o'clock today, I think. Or maybe even like five. So I've got quite a good day ahead, to be honest with you all. So I'm just going to pack my handbag now. I, I've got to choose a jacket. It looks like it's going to rain. So yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully I won't ever my lovely curled hair this morning. I'm now working in the salon, as you can tell. I've a makeup client. I'm now waiting on my grandma who's actually getting her eyebrows done, so yeah. I also had some music playing before, but I've turned it off. But <laughs> I'm back home from work now after a long but a really good day of doing treatments and everything like that. So um now it's obviously very exciting what I'm gonna do now. I'm actually gonna the wax the my ankles because those hairs, I waxed my legs the other day and oh my god, they would not have come out if they'd been stubborn as anything. It's time to back these jeans up and get my legs sorted before I go to Scotch tomorrow. Like, I'm hoping my underabs aren't going to show through like on Monday because that'll be a nightmare. Like, oh no, I couldn't deal with that. Yeah, I could not deal. I'm going to watch some YouTube now just to entertain myself while I wax my legs because it's honestly so boring. And you guys don't want to see that. So, yeah, I've just finished waxing, guys, and like it didn't really take too much time. I waxed my legs, I've not waxed my underarms because I don't have any wax strips, so I'm gonna have to get some from work tomorrow because otherwise, I'm literally screwed. Like, I'm gonna probably have to shave them, which I've not shaved them in ages. I'd not want to do that, <laughs> so yeah, I'm having a bit of a dilemma, not gonna lie, yeah. I'm still a bit of a pickle, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've only got a, a one strip, so un unless I literally just use a strip, because I don't think I've got any more. I don't really want to think I've got any more, and like, yeah, they seriously need done right now. Like, out of everything, that they need done the most. Yeah, and then I also waxed in my bikini, oh my god, that it's just another level of pain it's a good pain once it's been waxed but oh my god like the process is oh it is painful i was trying to look at wax strips i don't think i've got any i should have got some from the shop today but i've got about like ten thousand packets of them in there what a nightmare this is guys i've done my makeup and i actually love my makeup i used the huda beauty foundation in you know, the shade 240 n or something like that and oh my god it's like perfect it it makes your skin it looks so smooth as soon as put it on my skin just looks flawless yeah so i'm not actually curling my hair today i'm going to work for 10 o'clock it, it's nearly half nine um and then i'll be finished at like half two and then i'll go home i've got some balloons to blow up for scott's birthday a two and a one it says you can either use helium or air so i've got the actual like Oh, what are these even called? I don't even know what they're called. Like, um, them. A balloon weight. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've got a two in the one balloon. I've also packed both my whole dolls. So I've got the whole doll for Scott's house. I'm thinking of putting some nails on because like, my nails look really, like, bare and ugly. Yeah, yeah and it was a fake tan last night. I used a doll beauty one and oh my god, I, I woke up this morning, I was so brown and then I had the shower and stuff obviously and then. I went back into my room and it literally smelled like a Chinese takeaway or something because like a fake tank can have a bit of that smell. So yeah, but anyway, I've also packed my hold off all the doors. I've got like even dressing clothes, I've got heels, I've got like some balloons for the hotel room. I'm gonna be vlogging Scott's birthday by the way. I've just got like everything else. So yeah, so I'm now gonna back on my hair because I'm not using I'm not using any um heat on my hair today because like it is wavy, but I just want to back comb it to make it look a bit uh, more voluminous before I go to work. It is meant to be really windy today. I'm dreading leaving the house to be honest, but yeah, so I don't have any makeup clients today, so good job because I can't be bothered taking everything home, like all the makeup and stuff. But yeah, so I'll probably see you all when I'm back home and prepping for Scott's birthday. I am really excited, I can't wait. I am super duper excited for his birthday. I'm home from work, everybody. If this 
the lighting is actually doing things to me like oh my god it makes me look really glowy and just really like blue eyes even though i don't have blue eyes but anyway yes it's now time to do these 21 how's it that way but not 21 so yeah so um it says you can blow it up with air i don't know how but i'm i'm gonna try i'm hoping it comes with string i don't think it does doesn't look like it does so i need to get some string from somewhere brilliant right so it should go like that 20 like two okay i might be able to use this like you know the straw things is that you can use yeah they've it, actually got the one of them so that you can use or like just like a normal straw because it's like a valve isn't it really <laughs> if i'm gonna do this like if if this is gonna be really if I do anything to this, I'm going to be after a few because these are expensive balloons as well. Like, I don't know how you do these. I could definitely not work in, in the card factory or something like that. Like, I really couldn't. <laughs> You'll definitely not see me in there. Right, valve. Okay, well, that should be the valve. Okay, well, we're going to try anyway. Right, I'll probably catch you up if I've, if I've made progress. I managed to blow the balloons up using this straw from these balloons. So I am going to be blowing them up when we get to the hotel. But yeah, so I've literally just got to pack everything. I'm bringing all this with me. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get it into the car, but I'm going to manage because I only have like a little Suzuki, but we're going to try. But yeah, so here it is. Ooh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Scott. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Where's Josh? Oh, good idea. Good idea. Someone wants to blow up, would they? But anyways, I am going to end the other vlog here because I am going to be going to Scott's now and I'm obviously going to be vlogging his birthday. I'm really excited because I'm going to the spa and stuff and I'm going to surprise him with his birthday present. So honestly, I am excited. But if you guys have enjoyed this little two day, three day vlog, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, also subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everybody.